Hey everybody, Paul here from Warden's Farm. It's 7 August. It's 6.30 in the evening and it's still 88 degrees with humidity over 80%. I'm getting ready to do an oxalic acid treatment, but the one thing you want to do before you treat your bees is make sure you do a mite count and that they need the treatment. Because you don't want to just treat your bees if they don't need it. Most of my hives have Epivar strips in there and they've been in there for probably three, four weeks now. And it's going from six to eight weeks depending upon what I see when I do my next mite count on those hives. But I do have four hives that I didn't put that in. I did do a mite count and I got eight or nine in two of them. And two of the others actually got a pretty high mite count, almost 10 to 12 in each one. So I'm gonna treat them with oxalic acid and we're gonna do a vaporized treatment. <clears throat> Now I have an electric treater, as you can see, the brand name there. Um, there's many different models that you can get, but this is the one that I choose to use. I already have an extension cord going from my bee shed down to the bees. This will plug in, it'll heat up to over 400 degrees, and it will vaporize the oxalic acid really quickly. Of course, this is the oxalic acid. When you handle this stuff, once you break it out, it's double bagged. So when you handle this stuff, you wanna make sure you're using rubber gloves. And <clears throat> one of the things that's even more important is a respirator. And you wanna make sure you got the paint filters that will prevent the vapors from the oxalic acid getting into your lungs because it's very harmful. It will do some definite damage to your lungs and to your body. So make sure you take the cautions that you need to when handling this stuff, gloves, eyeglasses if you wear them if you don't goggles of some sort they do sell these that actually are full face but uh i don't have that kind and this one here you actually put the oxalic acid in these little blue cups you measure it out and depending upon which version that you read and that you want to do it will tell you what you need to do and how much some say a teaspoon some say more you do the research, you do what's good for you and on your hives. That's all I'm going to say on that. I'm not going to tell you how much to put in or how much not to put in. That's up for you to do your research. And then that way you can do what's good for you. Because it used to be less, now it's a little more. So do what's good for you. So a lot of the bees are on the outsides of the hives. So because of that, we're going to light the smoker and we're going to smoke them pretty good to try to get all the bees inside and then once the bees get inside you want to make sure that you block off all your entrances with rags and those rags will keep the bees inside you turn it on when it's ready you'll go ahead these I'll pre-stage you put it in you turn it over and as soon as you turn it over it will start vaporizing all right off the bat so you turn it in, you've got a hole already drilled in the hives, which I do. You put this little nozzle inside there, and when you flip it over, it immediately starts putting the vapor into the hives. And then you tap it a little couple times and leave it be. When the temperature goes back up to, I think it's 450, you know it's all done. It's all vaporized. Then you can take it out of the hive. You can move to the next hive. I use pencils that I block the hole with. Put the pencil back in, move to the next hive, get them done. Now you gotta leave them closed up for 15 minutes. And <clears throat> in this kind of heat, it's really stressful on the bees. So instead of 15 minutes, I do it about 10. That way the bees can then get out if they need to get out. But you gotta be careful because you don't wanna hurt the bees with this stuff. So that's again, do your research on the temperatures that you can use. I'm gonna do these just because I have to in these four hives. The other hives all were good because of the Apivar treatments that I was doing. I tested them when I about four weeks ago and they went ahead and tested high. That's why I treated them. I was like, it's a done deal, gotta do it. But I didn't have enough Apivar strips, so these last four hives, I'm gonna do the oxalic acid and we'll go from there they had a low mite count when we did it back then and then when i just did the mite count again 
guess what? The mites shot through the roof. So we're at the peak season of mites, at the peak season of hive beetles. So you gotta keep an eye on your hives. So let's go get in the hives. I gotta get suited up. I gotta get everything on and let's get busy. One of the things when wearing rubber gloves in these kinds of temperatures is your hands are gonna sweat. There's nothing that you can do. So because we're getting ready to handle oxalic acid, you don't wanna breathe it in. You don't wanna do any of that stuff. So we're getting ready. We're gonna put our safety gear on. I'm putting the gloves on. Then I'm gonna pre-fill these little tubes that go with the vaporizer pre-stage them and that way they're ready and it all depends upon how many deeps you got on for how much you want to use so let me get my respirator on before I put my hood on as you can see I already got the respirator on it's quite warm with all this gear on but you got to still protect yourself and you can see it's already starting to heat up. So while that's doing that, I'm going to smoke the front of the hive, get the bees in it. And when that's up to temperature, I'm going to let them get in. I removed the pencil from the hives that I got ready to treat. And you can see that temperature is climbing pretty fast. So right there's the hole and that's what we're going to be putting it in. I always keep a wire to clean out the nozzle. And now we're at 450 degrees. So, this is what you do. You start inverted. You put it, get it inside, turn it over, tap it. And as you do, it starts buzzing right off the bat. You can see the temperature dropping. And you can see the vapors coming out already. That's the stuff you don't want to breathe. There's a few bees on the outside, but that's all right because the majority are being treated right now. And when that temperature gets back up to 450, we'll move it over into hive here, which is hive number nine, even though it says six, because you go by positions. So I'll set this here, and you can see how fast it goes once I get this thing set up. Okay, we're at 447. The tube is ready. Do one last tap. Take it out. Put the pencil in. Remove the cap. And you're ready for the next hive. Invert it. Put it on. Make sure that the tube is clean which it is. Okay, they got that hole blocked a little bit, so I used the wire. Clean it out. And now we're good. Put it in. Back it off. And there we go. Temperatures dropped down to 300, 299, and there it goes. 
So while that's doing that, you can come out here with me and you'll see on the front of the hives, oh, they're already blocked off. And that's actually one of the better ways that I've found for treating these things. Okay, it's come back up to 430, 440, almost at 450. There we go. We'll take it out and move to the next hive. Make sure the nozzle's clean. By clean, I'm meaning I'm running it in to make sure that it goes all the way through and that there's no blockage. All right. So now this hive, we're starting in the upper deep. Put it in, turn it over. And you know when it's working because you hear the bees. And it drops down. And then when it builds back up to 450, you're done. You can move to the next hive. So I'm going to finish this one last hive and then we'll be done. So I'll talk to you in a little bit. All right, we've got done with those hives and they've all been treated. So in five more days, we'd go back and we're gonna treat it again. Um, it's quite hot. I had to uh, pack everything up and then put everything away because we got rain coming tonight, so I don't wanna leave anything out. And the hives have been treated. It's the beginning of a four-step treatment every five days. And this way, we'll go ahead and get them last four hives treated and get the mites under control. Because I like to have five or less per 300 bees. That's a half a cup of bees. And hopefully we'll get down there in about 20 days. So Paul from Warden's Farm, take care. I hope this helps you out on figuring out what type of acylic acid treatment you need or Apivar or whatever type of treatment you need for your mites. Take care. <laughs>